Hi, this is Pete at Berger Arcade at BergerArcade.com, and here we are with another tutorial on our little hack and slash RPG. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity, and I'll just go ahead and open up Mono Develop. Uh, we left off, we had actually just got our, our weapon uh, being created, and it's creating the mesh and put equipping the white, right mesh. Uh, there's a little bit of cleanup I want to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take our actual mob that we're putting in game now. Um, see, so he's under resources, mobs, uh, the dungeon guardian. I'm just going to go ahead, drop him in the scene, and I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this uh, weapon that we're equipping to him. As it just deletes it when it starts up anyway. And so, tell me I'm losing my prefab. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's take it. Let's reapply it. We'll close it. Uh, actually, let's just get rid of it. And that's the first thing I wanted to clean up. Uh, it's re-importing assets, okay. That's uh, perfectly fine. It does it every once in a blue moon. Uh, it has quite a few animations, as you can see. <laughs> this is actually for the muscular character. This is our player character. Okay, well, anyway, well, that's done. I'm going to go ahead and go back into Mono Develop. And there's one thing I actually didn't check, and that's uh, when we're putting it into the equipment slot. I wanted to check uh, the item there as well. So I'm actually just going to take these debug log statements. I'm going to move them down here. And this is where I'm actually going to test them. So I actually want to go into the equipment array. So underscore equipment. And uh, let's see, we're going to want to get the slot, which is, well, here. We'll just cut and paste this. This one here, we don't have to worry about uh, typos. And we'll go ahead and get the name. And likewise, we'll go ahead and get the uh, max damage. Mm, this probably actually won't work because again, I believe uh, we're making them as item. And we should get an error as soon as we come over here. Uh, so we're gonna have to do the exact same thing with the typecasting. And I want to go right to there. Uh, that should get rid of the air. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clear it. We'll start it back up. And there we go. So we're getting a pick at 10 damage max. All right, so everything's still working there. So we know it is actually getting added to our equipment array. Now I want to go ahead and actually move these methods or all this uh, stuff we're doing here uh, as far as actually um, attaching the, the the weapon to our character, or in this case the mob, I want to actually move this back to the base character because it is present in both our PC and our mob. And I'm actually going to move the item generator out of the way a little bit. We don't need the AI right now. And I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use the base character for my NPCs or not. Uh, it's still a little ways away, so I have tons of time to plan ahead for that. Uh, if we do, we can always uh, make another uh, class that base character inherits from and uh, change a few things around that way. But let's go ahead and actually start moving this stuff in. Now, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to keep it all in this function. Uh, set up stats. I really put it in set up stats. Wow. This is actually supposed to be in set up gear. So I'm just going to go ahead. And move it. Not that it matters because we're probably going to be getting rid of most of it here. All right. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to keep this for now. Uh, let's see, melee weapon. Yeah. So we'll just keep this. I'm actually going to shorten it a bit. Uh, we'll just take this, and we can post it here. And that should not give us an error. And it should work just like it did before. There we go. And for those not familiar, instead of saying give us a new item or saying that the melee weapon is e equal to a new item, uh, we're saying it's equal to the item that's returned from this function call. Uh, so we got that. You can do the exact same thing for ranged weapons, although I have not set up ranged weapons yet, but you might have gone ahead and done that. If you have, again, you know, it's pretty simple, one line just like this. Uh, but here's where I want to start adding stuff to our base character. Now, we, they both have an item array called equipment 
Uh, this, this is where I wish I had a split screen or split display. Uh, I'm just going to start cutting and pasting. So we'll cut that out. So I'm going to go into base character. And I'm going to do it before the awake, but after the uh, skills. Yeah, I think it's a good spot. I want to keep it as far away spot, like easily seen while I'm working on it. I'm actually going to go close all these down as well. Uh, I believe there is a keyboard shortcut for collapsing everything all at once. I just can't remember it off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure I have seen it though. All right, so I'm just going to put a few spaces here. I'm going to put this array in and and I actually take a look at it in the PC. I did make it private, so I'm going to leave it private over here as well. And I'm going to move this enumeration uh, into this class now. So that means we have to grab it from PC and it's down at the bottom. Uh, right there. Yeah, let's put a few spots. We'll paste it in. Uh, we should be able to actually go into PC. Uh, again, I like to keep all these closed. Um, let me see here. Load skin color. Load hair mesh. Load hair. It's a lot of stuff we've worked on. Uh, equip headgear. Now, let me see. We're going to want to get rid of the line up at the top here where we're creating the array. And I just want to make sure it's the exact same line. Uh, it is. So now this array has become private, but part of the base class. So let's save this off. Let's see if that gives us any errors right off the bat. I don't think it should. Or could give us a bazillion of them. Uh, base character equipment is inaccessible. Ah, uh, it's because I made it private. Let's go ahead and let's make this protected. Uh, we covered this in one of the earlier tutorials about uh, the protection levels. And that seems to have taken care of the error. And of course, you know, quick startup will just show if it, whether or not it runs, and it does. Uh, great, so now let's go ahead and actually move uh, the next part here, where we're actually equipping the item. Uh, so this is what, equipping the main, a main weapon. And let's see how we did it here. We probably had an actual class, which we do. Uh, I'm actually going to move the whole thing. So I'll just cut it and save, and then I'll come into base character, and I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom right before our enumeration, and make sure it's right before this closing uh, parenthesis here for our character, or for the, the class. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste it in here. And it is public, uh, so we don't have to worry about this protection level. And it's called Equip Weapon. And I'm just trying to think if I should really change this since it is dealing with the main hand weapon. Uh, if I should call this equip um, a melee weapon. Uh, it probably is something that we're going to have to play around with because I'm pretty sure. I'll have to check my notes, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have to change this to equip a melee weapon or at least main hand weapon. Uh, but I'm going to come in here and I'm going to comment all of this out now. And again, I know there's some sort of shortcut in Mono Develop to comment out a whole block. I just can't think of it right now. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, let's close this up. And just call that one function here. Now, did I cut and paste the function? Uh, yes, equip weapon. Uh, let me just take a look at it here. And we're going to pass it in a value. So we'll just pass in a uh, melee weapon for now. Of course, this can be shortened even more. Uh, let's come out. Uh, we do have an error here. 
Uh, it says it cannot be accessed. Oh, sorry, it cannot be used as a method or delegate. So we'll come back and silly me. Starting to get late here. I'll <laughs> oh, we'll go ahead, we'll save that off. Hit clear. And it did not give us a weapon this time. And it's probably because I've commented out my debug statements. Let's keep those there. And we started up and sure enough we got a hammer. Has a max damage of five, which seems really low. Uh I'll have to take a look later to see what the bottom was, but I'm pretty sure that's probably within range, and sure enough it is a hammer. I'm just gonna do one more just to see if uh what the damage is. Axe at five, those do seem like low values. Uh, but we haven't done anything to actually change those. Let me see what, what's the damage. Uh, max damage between 5 and 11. So yeah, they're, they're within range. They're just at the bottom end. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Now we can clean this up a little bit more. Uh, we can actually grab this. Get rid of this whole line. Uh, let me see here. Uh, whoops, I want to cut it, not accidentally erase it. I'm actually just going to paste that in up there. We no longer need that because we're automatically equipping. Uh, we can go down and actually get rid of all of this. Uh, I'm actually going to leave it there uh, for the people following along at home. As uh, I'm probably going to be uh, uploading the scripts before the actual video is done. Uh, so I'll just leave that there so they can actually see the code, uh, even though it is commented out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I want to take care of. Let me just check the uh, PC. Yep, we did move that. And I'll have to check my notes to make sure that uh, we can change this to equip melee weapon. Now, it's probably going to screw a few things up in some other scripts by changing the name. Uh, that'll be fine. We'll fix them as we come along, as we come across them. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. And, you know, as always, uh, if you like the video and you'd like to see more of them, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.